Hello everyone. <laughs> Hi. This is Lisa from Happy Duck Creations. It's Amanda. And that's Jordan. Oh, that girl. <laughs> anyway, today is Thursday, uh, May 24th. I do believe. 2018. Um, tomorrow is one of my brother's birthdays. And since I only do this podcast once a week, and I know um, sometimes he'll catch them, sometimes he won't. Um, I wanted to say happy birthday to my bar baby, my, my little brother, who will be, uh, I believe, 46. I think it's 46. Probably. Yeah, I think it's 46. So, happy 46th birthday, brother. I love you. Um, welcome all of our returning viewers, and hello to all of our new subscribers. We have several new ones since... Last week. It's yeah. just been great. I think we're we're up to like 767. Nope. No? 770 last I looked. 770. That's amazing. Thank you all so much for that. It's just great. Um, I also got a letter today from Kendall in California. So Kendall, hi. I wanted to let you know I got that. Such a sweet letter. Thank you so much. You are just wonderful. So um, I just wanted to, to personally thank you for that. Um, we actually have several, between the two of us, we have several um, whips and several uh, finished objects that we'd like to share with you. Mostly her finished <laughs> objects and whips. Mostly but... mine. <laughs> um, yeah, I had like two extra days off from work because I had strep throat last week. Woo, who knew? Just went for a regular checkup and she was like, you know, your throat looks really swollen and it's really red. And, and I'm like, well, I've just been tired. You know, I didn't even had no problems with my throat whatsoever um but yeah th so they went and did that throat culture like mm -hmm. right right there where they put the little liquid on there and she's like yeah you tested positive for strep so my grandson cameron had it um a couple of days before i did or maybe yeah. a week or so before yeah. <laughs> and then my assistant manager had it and it put her in the hospital so yeah it's it's just i don't know it's been crazy so i was able to finish a couple of more items um so I will show you those. We are going to add um, a little clip. It's, you know, a very quick one um, with with Jack. So um, when we are done, and <laughs> you might want to stay. He's such a nerd. Anyway, yeah. So if you want a quick little laugh yet again, just wait for the end of the video. Um, do you want to get started? Sure. She's she's going to knit. So And I've got a lot of stuff to show you guys and, and talk to you about. So I'll have, let Amanda go first. Um Okay, so as far as hope everybody's having a wonderful and we're hoping that the day. glare is better. We've got I bought a new lens um, and we've changed the lighting. So please, please put a comment below and um, let us know what you think. It's it's dark here. We had hoped the podcast earlier, but you know that didn't work out. But yeah, definitely let us know. It seems like it's okay. Um, we're not like hugging each other like before we've got more you know we were spaced out a little bit better so um, just let us know if this you know how this feels it looks and feels better to us but um, we definitely appreciate your um, feedback your feedback absolutely so all right take it away Amanda okay Brum, bump. oh <laughs> sorry so sorry I just got one last stitch give me just a second how rude right not really it's just like this could be like a knit and chat Crochet chat. Wait, wait, wait. She is really concentrating. Okay. Oh so last gosh. week I showed you that I started to knit something. And this is where I was last week down here. And this is how far I've made it. I haven't done much because I got a part-time job. That's good, honey. That's... You know. And I'm still fresh with the knitting thing. This is only yeah. like my third official project. I think it looks great. Honey. Um, And then my, my stitch mark. Your stitch marker um, that we got in, a, or she got in a craft swap. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see. I'll do. So I showed you my whip, my only, my one and only whip, and I show whip. you my finished object. It's super cute. It's a little ba baby blankie. Here, lady. Have oh, a I get to look. I get to model. I'm freezing. She's talking I'll about being it. cold. So there you I go. I am. So there's this. It's a really pretty. You can't really see it because it's so it's so bright. Um. But, yeah, you use that lightweight yellow. It's a really yellow. pretty shade of yellow. And I don't, it's because it's one of those thrift store yarns that I just kind of picked up. Yeah, I don't but know. I, 
I, I'm pretty sure that it was probably a two ply. Dandelion, it's really it's daisy. thin. Cause what I'd size? Use an F hook. An F hook. Yeah, yeah. she used an F hook. So. But I mean, it's real. It's really pretty. It's very lightweight, and it's it was difficult, you know, to try to. I think it turned out really great. It's a nice. Is it a rectangular? Maybe. No, it's a square. No, it's a square. So it's, a square. But it's a pretty good size. A little it's shell stitch. You can't go wrong with a shell stitch, in my opinion. You add a shell stitch to anything, and it makes it look better. Well, so. I just told them last week that I absolutely love the shell stitch because yep. it was all over. But so that's my finished object, my one and only. Mm -hmm. But you got something done. I think that's amazing. Yeah, um, that's really good. You're busy. You're the, always busy. I know. I gotta. I'm working at an art studio. Uh, I'm the cleaner, and I host it with the owners, so that keeps me busy. But then I have a. Box. I just told her to keep her Thursdays free, guys. I did. I made her promise. Yeah. Well, <laughs> um, I have a box that I got from a craft swap. Excuse me. And again, excuse me, from Miss Teresa. And there is a lot of fun stuff in here. Hold on, wait. Oh, oh, do you get to give it to me? And then, oh, the camera. Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> the camera. Oh, be careful. <laughs> It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Good. Okay, so we'll start with the gift that was made for my husband. Where do you want me to put stuff? Um. Do you want me to put, st I can do that. I can be like your. You want to be my little, okay. Well, yeah, we'll figure can, this out in a minute. I can do that. Okay. Where's your, no, I don't want to do that. Okay. No? Okay. Okay, so this... We've got it together, I promise. We're not together. <laughs> this, Miss Teresa had made me... Well, not me, but my husband, because he likes the cubs. And it says, go cubbies on it. But this is mine. It's a little stitch marker. It's mine. I think that's adorable. Um, yeah, she did wonderful. And he got, like, this big giant smile on his face. He's trying to figure out what he's going to use it for. We don't know yet. But it's... Hi! <laughs> it's awesome. So there's that one basket. And then here is my I really like favorite. This one. That's very nice. It's got all my favorite colors on it. She asked me what my favorite color was, and I kind of smacked her with all of them. Yeah, it's um, so cool. we've got all my favorite colors on there. It's a nice little basket. I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna use it for. It's cute. It's absolutely beautiful, and I love it. Yay. Use the buttons, honey. Um thank you. Here we'll just sit it right here in my lap. Ta -da. Okay, and then I have this gorgeous infinity scarf, which is like yeah. Let's see if you can forever if we can long. get it up and close, because it has like it's got like gray sparkles, sparkles in it. Let's in see if we, it. we go like this. It's super pretty. I don't know if you can see that, but Probably it's very not. yeah, it's, it's beautiful. It is very pretty, and it's and very it, very long. And it feels um and it's well, yeah. It's it was ice sweet yarn. because yeah, she left them. Put the labels yeah, on everything. She put, she put the labels on there. It's very so it's it's ice yarn. This is beautiful. Absolutely amazing. And it's kind of dressy, which kind of it helps is. out because I love to dress yeah, up. Yeah, you do like to dress up. Um, and then she made me a shawl. That is really cute. It is gorgeous. I don't know what. So yeah, this stitch, stitch is she just. Did. That's beautiful. But. It is absolutely amazing. I don't know if you guys can see that, but let me see if I. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's got the pink at the. At and you're bottom. wearing. I don't know if you can see. You should get up and and um, try it on sure. because it's very very pretty. Jordan, watch your feet, baby. Watch your feet. Thank you. Isn't that gorgeous? Perfect size and everything. Mm -hmm. I just love it. Look at that. And it's just a nice little lacy look. And it's look. not too thick. It's not like it's... Oh, thank you. Is it I know. Pretty? Oh, thank you. <laughs> but Thank you. Um, yeah, it's got like that really pretty lace mm -hmm. kind of look on it. Good date night, Shaw. You know, <laughs> yes, it is. You're right. Um, but it's got... She left the tags for both of the yarns on here, which are both also Ice Brand. And this one is, let's see, this one's the eyelash yarn for the pink. Oh, so she mixed it, yeah, because you can tell it's fuzzy. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. So it turned out, here you go. You said you're cold. I'm breezy. I get to wear the shower. Okay. So she also, worry, let's see here, to got me a little pom-pom going on in here. There's oh, just yeah. a little tiny awesome. pink one. So awesome. And then a bigger one. Whatever I put this on, I'm definitely <laughs> so cute. rocking it. I don't know if it's going to be on a, a hat or whatever, but whatever it is, it's going to be mine. That is just really pretty. I, I don't know if you can tell. 
It's got pink and greens and grays in it. That's really cute. Mm -hmm. And she got me a mug. It says, do what you love. And I was in need of a new coffee mug. Yeah, you were. So, that one's awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stand up here. Because I can't see while I'm sitting down. I have these. Oh, yeah. She made you some little bags. A little bitty. I don't know. I might use this as a coin purse. I haven't That'd figured be, it out. That would be good. That's cute. Again, this is from the ice yarn. I would hold it hold it up to try to get because it's got like gold flecks in it. It is super yeah, pretty. I mean, man. It is very, very pretty. It's gorgeous yarn. Um, and then there's a pink one. Just a little bag and it's got little um where is it? There it is. A little drawstring. Yeah, so the little drawstring has this oh. has got a mask and oh, a heart on it. Glass. And then this one has a wine glass and grapes. Which works out perfect because I absolutely love drinking wine. Who does it, right? <laughs> um, she got me my coffee. <laughs> love it. Genius. Uh, and she remembered my babies. That was one of the biggest things. She remembered my baby. That was super sweet. So thank you, Miss Teresa. Hey, Jordan, can you... Here. So sidewalk that. chalk and... Um, it's an art like caddy. A, like it's a little art thing. Yeah. crayons and... All kinds of stuff in it. It was Whoa, very sweet. Um, so I have some <coughs> techno, is what it says. But it's also from the ice <coughs> ice yarn. It's very, very pretty and very, very soft. Pink and black. There you go. I promise it won't be much longer, guys. This got out. There's two. Oh, that's okay. Just stick it right back in there. There you go. Yeah, this is Whoa. really soft. There's two of the, the purple ones, which Whoa, is, tissue. Okay. I mean, absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with all this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really pretty. Um, there's this. I've never seen this brand. Oh, it's mohair, right? Yeah. It's but cute. Mom, does Hold this chalk it's also very soft. Have um, pointy thing on the bottom. We're I not think sure. Leave it, in, leave it in the bucket, though. We'll check. Yeah, let's leave it in there. We'll see it we'll, for tomorrow. Yeah, we'll check it tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, that's really soft, too, though. Then these are all, what is this? Cotton? Oh, yeah, I think Mako sure cotton. Are so I've got two of these, this color, which I wish they'd give you better color on here. It just says light. Does it say? It doesn't, it, so it doesn't give you a color? No, it doesn't. Because it's identical to this one too, and they're two different colors. Oh yeah, just so there's right. that one. It's it's almost like a green and Tilt a tan. Cotton. Yeah, but that's it's the pretty same cool. Thing. Yeah, and then this one is black. It feels and, really neat. This yeah, one is black and tan. It's very nice. I'm gonna make some washcloths out of that. Then this one, which I've never ever seen, but it's super soft. It's a nice color too. And it's uh, okay. Nowhere to be found. Super fine wool acrylic polyamide and whatever. I don't know. Yeah. But it's it's really soft and it's a really pretty blue. Can't, pretty. can't wait to use all this yarn. I needed some yarn because I'm not into all this like you guys are. And then I told her that I love pickles and olives as a snack. <laughs> so she got me sweet. pickles and olives. That was so sweet. I was waiting to crack into these for this podcast. Mm -hmm. So now that this podcast is well, listen, through. It would be nice if you showed everything to everyone. So Yes, yeah, so... And then I got a little bag. Now that I think I've reached the bottom of my bag, I will sit down. Okay. She gave me some nail polish, which works out because baby girl wanted me to paint her nails. Um, we got a little bit of everything going on here. Little buttons. And yeah. Extra bits and bobs. There's Mom, this is one, two, three. It, this it's is one. buttons oh. and all oh, kinds mm. of stuff in here. I cannot wait to get my hands on this. That's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. I agree. It's going to be cute. Um, but that bag is really super cute. Yeah, it's cute. I needed bag. one. And this, my favorite, has all kinds of fun little um, stitch, stitch markers in it. I love that. I won't go through and show all of them. I'll just show one of my favorites. Probably the only favorite. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's a... Panda bear. A panda bear. Because, you know, the nickname is Panda. So. Snip. 
She's been panda bear since day one. I told my mom, I was like, I'll probably never use this. I'm gonna put it somewhere where I can always You're see silly. it. It's my favorite, but I got, I'll kind of tilt it this way yeah. so you guys can see. I got quite a few in there. Sorry, she's playing with my buttons again. That's like a thing with her. I have this big container of buttons I told you guys about. It she likes her, to empty them and put them back in. It keeps her entertained, so we're yep. not going to complain. Nope. <laughs> but So that was all my stuff. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much, Teresa. I absolutely cannot wait to start working on my stuff. Yeah, it was really sweet. Yes, it was. So <laughs> thank you for that. And let me get all my stuff out of the way really I quickly. Will, I will Vanna handle it or hand it over to you. Love it. Oh, and it's oh, my favorite. And oh, you're so funny. <laughs> nope, nope. It, girl. Oops. <laughs> she found me out. She can't, oh. <laughs> you can't steal my stuff, man. What a bummer. You just can't do it. Oh, no, my pom pom is missing. No, honey, you the had. Little, I think you grabbed it when you grabbed the, the larger one. No, the little bitty one. The little, the little pink one? Yeah. Eh, we'll find it. It's true, we will. We'll right. find it. It's around here somewhere. Now that we can get our stuff our stuff together here. Okay. Right. Can't forget that. Okay, so on to Lisa now. On to me. So really quick, um May 15th marked the one year anniversary of my YouTube channel. So um Amanda and I are going to be looking over my stash and some of my stuff and um we're gonna put together a giveaway and I will probably get that announced either tomorrow or Saturday at the very latest to let you know how long it's going to run and show you all what's going to be involved in um, the one year anniversary giveaway. So I just wanted to, to let you know about that. Um, school real quick. Today was the last day of school. So now um, Jordan will be going into kindergarten in August. <laughs> Abby will be going into the sixth grade. Cameron will be going into the second grade. And my son graduates Saturday. And mom's trying to get back into college. <sighs> my goodness. So, yeah. <laughs> so, we have a lot going on right now. Um, and, you know, like I said, I was <clears throat> with everything going on with school. And, you know, they right at the end of the year, they always have carnivals and play days. And they send them home with an overabundance of paperwork oh, and re you know registering for next year and you know the teachers are cleaning out all this stuff so they bring sending them stuff that they can practice on um, during the summer so that it keeps the brain fresh so we have just had a lot going on but when I got sick I couldn't do anything or go anywhere for you know 24 to 48 hours so I actually was able to get some items done so <laughs> Let's uh, get on to my, what should I do, my whips? Yes. All right, let's do my whips first. So, um, I started another shawl, um, and I used the yarn that I got in my very first, which one was this? This was my knit crate, my, my knit crate club, and it was the that really pretty, I don't know what it was called. That's I, I had my... That's weird. I had the my paper. bag somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Where, what happened to it? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll remember. It was this beautiful shade of blue. Um, anyway, I got on Moogly.com, Tamara Kelly, and um, she's using the, she uses this beautiful tan um, brown. It's almost like a cappuccino variegated kind of yarn, and it's called the the brown butter shawl or the butter brown shawl. I might have those mixed up, but I wanted to see what it would look like with this really pretty yarn that I got, so I started it, and I I like it. I, I think I really like the way it's turning out, and it's, it's what really it is, pretty. it's a it's a four row repeat, so you do four rows, and then you start the double crochet chain one to make the spaces, and then you do four rows again, and then you do it, and then you just increase on either end, and that's how um, it makes the size of the shawl. So, but yeah, I really like it. I think it turned out really nice. Or it's turning out really nice, I guess. <laughs> okay, so that is whip number one. So let me put that up. Um, Sorry, I promise I'm not trying to be rude. She's, yeah, she's I'm knitting. All she is knitting. in her zone, guys. <laughs> <laughs> all 
Okay, um, so Abby came to me and asked me if I would make her a circular vest. Um, I was looking on YouTube, looking for patterns. Um, I found just a quick and easy one that I think her name's Emmy, and it's, um, oh my gosh, you know, I had this all taken care of. I, I will, I will put the link below because it's a, it's a real, it starts with an H. Um, anyway, I will link it below. Um, I really like her. She's got a quick, really nice tutorial and, uh, I wanted to use up some Mandela yarn. So I'm using Mermaid Cove and, and this is the Mandela baby yarn. See all those beautiful colors. So, so far I have, and it's kind of, I think I, I don't know, but you start the center and this is actually how it holds up. So these are the arms right here and this is going to be the back. This is the back of it. And so I've got a few more rounds to do before I just start a repeat of however large I want to make it and that the more you do it, the more it weighs down and it makes this really, really pretty um, looking vest anyway. It's, you know, I think it's turning out really nicely. Um, this was going to be for Sierra. No, not Sierra. That's my other granddaughter. For Jordan. <laughs> for Jordan. I'll get it straight, guys. So, for Jordan, because she looked at this and she said, oh, I like those colors. So, I thought, okay, I'll just go ahead and make it, you know, make you one out of this. Because I have made one for Abigail. You'll see that in my finished objects. Um, and so, I started making this one for Jordan. Well, then, we went... To Joanne, Joanne Fabrics. fabrics. Mm -hmm. That was a mistake. Uh, yes. Because yes, it was. I'm not Joanne lie. Fabrics was having a 40% off sale in store only. They were having this door buster for Memorial Day. And, and I didn't want to go in there. But Jordan wanted me to make her something extra special. And it's not like I, you know, I obviously didn't have anything that she liked. No. So we went to Joanne Fabrics. I had a 40% off coupon. Um, and I wanted to get... Um, some items so I, I made a purchase and I bought her one and my so my second or third my third finished object no, and last whip. Whip. I mean whip yes thank you Amanda we'll get it together. Oh, I'm, really I hope <laughs> so my last whip um, when I went to to Joanne Fabrics we were actually looking at premier sweet roll yarn yeah I buy it there all the time and then the lady that works there said that they were probably going to be getting rid of it because they were starting to get in this, the Lion Brand Cupcake. And this one is Too Too Much. That's the name of it. <laughs> that's adorable. That's funny. I didn't even look. But Jordan really liked it. She says, Nana, that's the one I want. So um, I started making a circular vest for her out of the cupcake. And this is what it looks like so far. I have maybe, uh, first of all, I absolutely love the way this looks. So you just, you hold it out. Thank oh. you, Amanda. Oh, that's just so beautiful. So see, the colors are just, they're gorgeous. I mean, I love it. So this is the back, armholes, of course. And I liked it here because um, uh, Abigail and Jordan, neither one of them wanted, usually when you see a circular vest, it'll have this big roll so it'll actually be one complete circle and then this part would be folded back and it would be like a collar for the vest and neither girl wanted that they just wanted just a regular backing and they wanted this cute little oh, vest. I, like how it I just love so how see it how it flows. just yeah it just falls it's she's tried it on it looks absolutely adorable on her um, but Amanda and I both agreed that it could probably use about three more rows. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do three more rows for her. That way it, it'll fit her a little bit longer and she can kind of grow into it and wear it again for another, you know, year. But this is super, super easy. The tutorial is maybe 30 minutes long, if that. Um, but like I said, I'll put the link below. Um, she's, you know, she's very quick. You'll have to, if you don't crochet fast... Um, just stop it when you you know when she tells you what you need to do finish that round and then just play it up again um, because I noticed when I when I saw several of her videos um, 
she just goes right into the crocheting so which is great and she says hey you know if you want to learn how to do a crochet stitch or whatever you know check out another one of my videos but I absolutely I'm totally in love with these you know you make something and you think man I gotta make a bunch of these yeah this is one of them and I've got a craft show coming up in August so I think we need to we're probably gonna need to get some of these made up well and, honestly, and it's lightweight I don't like to make things like this Big she doesn't like this. she doesn't this makes me want to try to make it though it's absolutely beautiful, and Isn't I want to be able just, to make and the a bunch colors. Of them. The colors are just and you know I'd heard about the cupcake yarn. I wanted to try it. Very nice. This this to me is um, an awful lot like Mandela yarn because it's a this is a um, it's a three ply yarn. There's 590 yards and it's 5.3 ounces, and it's just really really pretty. It's got some nice some nice color to it. So yeah. So it looks really good. So it's just another line from from um, Lion Brand, and there is my whip number three. So let me get that, put it over here. I am for reason. Okay, guys, on to my whips. No, my finished objects. I just keep wanting to say whips. It's it sounds good though. Listen, when you roll it off the tongue, it's here's, like my whips. Here's the explanation for why we're not together. <laughs> it is officially 9:23. It's late. <laughs> we have she and I have been running around all, all day, day long, long, guys. We've just been shopping like every, oh my gosh. We've been up uh, moving constantly on the go for <sighs> over 13 hours. Yeah, it's been crazy. So yeah, and it's quiet now. I think it the, is. the kids are upstairs with so their. <laughs> Father and grandfather. Yes. So this is our, our the most quiet time we've had. It is. Uh, so yeah, we're we're just not together. Yeah. And I, we I, usually again, we've just been hanging out on Thursdays because we know we've got our podcast, so yeah. we always just you know gather up our notes and see if there's anything that we would like to share with you guys. Um, and then today we just decided to go shopping because Cameron needed summer stuff. He so had, he, the boy he had, had no shorts, sport, so he has absolutely no shorts. None of his shirts oh, fit, so it's crazy. we went shopping and, you know, and I had mom went a little forever, overboard. Yeah. But I will say, so I had to put my knitting down because <laughs> I just got a text message for a potential job. They're oh, like, oh, we're going to pay you to babysit for the summer. And I was like, oh, great. And, and then I got an email from Caterpillar. And they're yeah, like, so, so she's got... There's a lot going on right now, uh, so if I if I'm like not there, but we I'm here. we agreed that if she does get a full time job, if we don't um, do our podcasting on Thursday, whatever day that she's off, you know we'll just make it work, which yeah. is fine because this has been thoroughly and completely enjoyable for me, um, and it, it's number one a blessing that my girls, all you know, all three of my girls love to do some kind of a craft work. Now my oldest daughter Jessica crochets out, out of her mind when she has the time, but she works, she's a nurse full time. Um, Not a nurse, or, Phlebot um, a phlebotomist. She, she's a phlebotomist yeah. at, yeah, at the hospital mm -hmm. in Springfield. And then she's a dialysis tech um, at, at DaVita. DaVita. And then she also teaches a class online once a week. So when she's she has time, to she crochet. also sells thirty-one, and yeah, she's got she's other a busy things girl. going on. Plus a two-year-old running so she's around the just house. So. On it, so yeah, she's been very busy. But yeah, but we'll we'll get together and we'll make sure to, um, uh, you know, to continue the podcasting, whether she's you know whether she gets a full-time job or not. We're gonna keep doing this. So never fear. <laughs> okay, so last podcast I was working on several different variations of the big sky shawl I did frog the one with the lion brand homespun did not like it at all I didn't like the feel of it didn't like the look of it Thought it was entirely too thick for a shawl so I just totally frogged it wrapped it back up put it back on the shelf um, but I did work with um, deep waters the Bernat chunky yarn and Amanda this one's done so if you can grab one this is finished and this is and this was how many skeins did I use two I believe two. three I used three two no oh, three. three yeah it was three yeah, yeah I used three. I used three skeins to make this one oh. so oh <laughs> I guess I need to <laughs> I need to weave in my end but it is done it is it is completed and see it's a good size I like it looks good looks good and it's you know nice and um it's got like kind of a lacy effect right mm -hmm. okay how's it feel wonderful 
just checking out my yarn. Always shopping. It's oh ridiculous. no, I was looking because it reminded oh, because me of it looks the one like Jordan it's, picked is out. Is it this one? Is it the same? No, I don't. Think no, I thought purple. I bought two. Uh, no, I don't think there's. Oh, this is, this is Mandela. Mandela. Yeah, I don't this think is... there's purple in the in this one. There's purple in that one. Right. Yeah, it is. So that's pretty why similar. I was looking. I was like, man, that looks a lot like it. <laughs> I thought she was shopping. Okay, my bad. Normally she's shopping. Anywho, so that's one shawl done. I All right, now together I'm gonna, eventually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire you. I'm fired. I'm firing myself. Good. I'm firing you're, you're myself. You're not doing good at this modeling thing, girl. Not today. I'm not. Uh, we're, and, uh, we're so tired. It's ridiculous. Oh, I didn't go to bed last oh, night until like four. I, okay, I can't say last night. Mm. It was like four o'clock this morning when I went to sleep, and then by seven thirty, I was up again because you know the kids had to go to school. Of course. Oh, and this I used. I used a Q hook. I don't know. Yep. A big giant pink I used, hook. <laughs> I used my Q hook to make this, and this is a um, a chunky number five Bernat baby. No, Bernat chunky yarn colorway deep waters. And I used a Q hook. So there's that first. That's my first finished object. Um, and so my second one, the one that I really liked that I bought, um, I made it out of I love this yarn. Birchwood Cottage, I believe, is the colorway. And this was used with an eye hook. Totally and completely love the way this one turned out. So this one is the one that I really, really like. Oh, yes. Look at that striping. Now, this one I will model a whole lot better. And I, I finished it off in a Pico. I like either Pico or a, um, a uh, scalloped edging. Oh, yeah. Just love these colors, guys. They're just gorgeous. Flip around, Amanda. Look at that. Doesn't that look great? I mean, you can. I mean, you can just see it. Just it. I. I think it looks really nice. I like it. Um, I will. I will make another one in an eye hook using. I love this yarn again. It's a four four ply yarn, but I really like the way it turned out. It whipped up really fast. Um, so yeah, and the one that I made with the Bernat that only that barely even took me a, like two hours to do. It didn't even take me two hours. I can't even say that. We gotta. I just, that was, I'm wearing her shawl. She's wearing mine. So, yeah. Loved it. So, I highly recommend it. I will put the links below. That was, again, Tamara Kelly, um, Moogly, and this was the Big Sky Shawl pattern. But, like I said, I used, um, I love this yarn with an eye hook, and then with this one here, I used a Q hook with Bernat Chunky yarn. All right. And that's, that's it for shawls. I haven't worked on my butterfly shawl, um, but I really need to. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, it turned out. It's turning out really good. That's just such a beautiful stitch. Um, okay, so my last and final finished object is Abigail's vest. So, um, she, like I said, she came to me. She asked me um, to make her one. I brought her down to my craft room. And I said, okay, pick out whatever colors you want. Again, Amanda wants to try it on. It won't fit her correctly, but I will have her try it on. So um, she used Fantasy is the colorway. It is an, I love this yarn. And then I I Added trimmed plum. it with. Was it plum? Or deep was plum. It? Deep yeah. plum. I love this yarn. Okay. So <laughs> let me show you again. Okay. Yep. This is Abby's. This is Abby's vest. Okay, so see, and again, just the straight, a uh, straight back, and the armholes. So this is it right here. And I'm gonna have Amanda try it on, so you have an idea of what it looks like. If you haven't made one, I mean, it's just adorable. So I love the way it flows in the front, and then in the back. Now it's, it looks short on Amanda. Yeah, it, it's not built it's, for somebody. It's my not size. built for Amanda. It's for my 11 year old daughter. So. Before any comments, it's it is actually her little sister's vest. But I kind of wanted you to get an idea. I like that it's a straight back. This is how you start it, of course, with the magic circle, triple crochets, um, and then it just it just drapes so nice. And on Abby, it just looks adorable. Um, yeah, not that it doesn't look adorable on you, sweetheart. It doesn't. It's I didn't care what that came out. It's worse. okay. Yeah. So I think I'll make my my girls one. I love it. So yeah, um, I just love the way it kind of it's just uh, flowing. When I take a lunch, I crochet at work. I always have crocheting with me because it's um, I don't have a lot of stress with my job. But you know, on those r rare days when 
you know, you can't get out because of the weather or something. I just sit at my, um, my desk in the back and I crochet. So my assistant saw this and she ordered one. So I'll, I'll be making her one in purple. So as soon as that's done, I will show you because that that's an adult size. She's, I think she wears a two X. So I will be making one for her, but yeah, super cute. Again, it was a, a YouTube tutorial and these are the colors that my Abby picked out just for her. So if she was down here, she's upstairs entertaining the children. So I'm going to leave her alone. Um, but yeah, so that I, I think, is that all we have? I, I'm telling you, I'm freezing. I'm glad I have this on. Um, yeah, so that's the shawl. One, two shawls in the, the thing. Yes. Um, I did want to show you uh, two, just, well, three acquisitions, but you already know about one. <laughs> one cupcake yarn. I did get another one because this, like I said, it was 40% off. I got another cupcake yarn. This one's called Forest Path. And it's, a, again, the Line Brand Cupcake. But look at those colors. That would make a really pretty shawl. Or vest. And again, it's 590 yards. This will make a really nice vest because Jordan's is almost done. And look at how much I, I have left over. That's enough to make another vest for, um, for her. So, and what I love about this is this will look totally different from the next one that I make. So I'm gonna put two more rows on her vest and then I'll just use this and just keep going and make her another one it'll be totally different out of the same skein, which I think is awesome. So um, I will probably do an adult one with this and then just find another three ply, probably a mandala or, uh, well no, not a mandala because it'll be variegated, but um, maybe a, a, just another color to trim it with if I don't have enough. But I just thought that was really cute. And like I said, it was 40% off, so it didn't, it didn't cost that much. Um, and the only other thing that I purchased was something that I had been looking for that I did use my 40% off coupon for, and that was a jumbo-sized pom-pom maker. I had been wanting one for a while, and I got, I, I have my little one, I haven't opened my little one yet. But, <laughs> so I've got the mini one, and then I really wanted I wanted the big jumbo, so now I've got it. I'm super excited about that. This probably makes the one that you had. That one would be cute for like if you wanted to make one for the dolls. That's why I got it for the Aww. for the Barbies. Yeah, I thought maybe you might like that. So, Aww. <laughs> what? She's so goofy. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I go. think. I think that's it. Yeah, so she took the little one out. Really, Amanda? Really? Like, I'm not going to notice that it's missing? That's so missing. See, you can't tell in the package until Ooh, you hold it up close, and then you know it's gone. a nerd. Um, yeah, the only the only other thing that um, I'm still working on, a, the blanket. Oh, you know what? Where's that? I think I showed that, but I'm, is that there? That right there? I'm working on a blanket for a customer at work. I might have shown the colors that I'm you using, but I started it. Did but yeah. I don't remember. If I let's see if we can find it. If we can, it'll be another whip. Yeah, that's it right there. So um, one of my customers is now in a wheelchair. Her daughters come in and buy for her all the time, which just um, does my heart good because you know, if you've been following me from the beginning, you know that I lost my mom 12 years ago, um, and we were extremely close. So um, I noticed that she hadn't been coming around, but I recognized her daughters because they had come in to buy her something for her birthday. Um, and so, uh, when they told me that she is now in a wheelchair because she can't get around on her own, uh, I wanted to make her a blanket because they said she needed something to cover her. So I did start it. I think I'd shown the, can you hand me the colorway, babe, or the thing? So I'm using, I love this yarn, um, ombre, it's the denim ombre, because they said she liked blues. And then I'm using Red Heart Navy. So, and this is the linen stitch. This is the one where you do... Um, you chain an even number, and then you do a single crochet, chain one, skip one. Single crochet, chain one, skip one. That's the pattern. Back and forth, back and forth. So I just started it, and this is how far I've gotten. And I think at the last video, I, I did put a link at the bottom so that it would let you know um, what size you're supposed to make so that they don't, you know, get in the wheel wells, and, you know, just so that it's... When she's sitting in her chair from her from the waist and then down to her feet, she can be covered. 
So that's what I did. And I think the mixture looks really nice. In case I haven't, I might have shown this to you in the last podcast. I wasn't sure if I'd gotten to it or not, but yeah. So the first couple of rows are there. This should be done by um, Sun. What is it? What's today? Thursday? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it should be done by Sunday. That's when they're coming to pick it up. I'll probably have it done tomorrow or the next day, but um, I told him Sunday just in case, you know, life happens. So there's that. And did you have anything else, baby girl? <laughs> nope, just got myself a whole nother job. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that makes two. We, right. we really appreciate you guys bringing us into your living room and hitting that subscriber button. Um, and please be on the lookout because like I said, tomorrow, which is Friday or Saturday, um, we will be announcing our giveaway for our one year anniversary of being on YouTube. Okay. So we love you guys. We thank you so much. Um, I have had some comments about craft swaps. Send me a message. I love doing them. I will continue to do them until, you know, like infinity forever. Right. <laughs> as Jordan will, would say. I will also do craft Amanda, swaps. Just yeah. be warned though. I don't have a giant <laughs> supply. So our, my boxes won't be very big. So if you guys send a big box like Miss Teresa did, I'm, I'm here to tell you I had to apologize to her because my box that I sent her was this big. But that's because I don't have much stuff. But I'm more than happy to do a craft swap with we you. Love, we love doing them. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, keep them coming. Um, I, I, had, I had a comment. Somebody, oh, you know what? Someone had asked me, what was her name? I think it was just the letter K. If I got it, I, I'm, or maybe the letter T. Anyway, just real quick, she asked me how long I'd been crocheting, um, and my mother taught me how to crochet when I was nine, which is why I chose that age for my three girls. Um, Jessica and Amanda both caught on very quickly. They absolutely love to crochet. Abigail, not so much. Um, she, I did try to teach her. She got a little frustrated, but you know what? She loves to loom. It's like her thing. For so. you loomers out there, <laughs> I'm here to tell you, kudos to you. I will stick with the knitting and the crocheting. I tried to loom this, this morning. Like, I, don't think it I was well. in tears. I was so mad and so frustrated. I cried and cried and cried. And I was like, kudos to my 11 year old little sister. Yeah, Abby loves to loom. It. She's working on her fifth project right now. So, um, and once she is done with that, I will share that with you. And maybe um, have her pop up and, and explain to you what she did and why she chose her colors and whatnot. But, um, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Just remember to please continue to hit that like button. Excuse me. I thought I, I, thought I was going to like, uh, not but burp or something. Something felt like it was coming up. But anyway, um, that's Sonic. That's where we ended up going. You'll see at the end of this clip because that's my husband cop popped on and... Um, we were just about the podcast and he would have none of it, but he you'll find out. Short, yeah. He we cut it very short, but I'm, I'm going to throw it at the end. So, um, thank you guys so, so much for watching and, um, hopefully we'll have some fun stuff to show you next week. Oh, she's taking the thing. Oh, she'll take it back now that I've got it all warm for. But anyway, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Be safe. Um, happy Memorial Day weekend. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Um, uh, we do it up. We're going to, you know, I told my girls at work that they can wear red, white, and blue flags, whatever. As you all know, I'm an army brat. So, you know, um, we're, we're pretty patriotic. We, you know, we just, we love it. Um, I think the in-laws are going to go to um, uh, the gravesite. I think she they're going to go to Camp yeah. Butler and um, see some of our family members there. And, you know, it's like just normal routine for us. It uh, doesn't have to be Memorial Day. We just kind of go and pop in and say hi. <laughs> as long as they don't answer back, we're okay. So my grandmother <laughs> used to always tell me. So um, so anyway, you guys just be safe. Take care. Um, and we will be popping up a video tomorrow or Saturday about our one-year anniversary. I can't believe it's already been a year. Something that started off as just, you know, <laughs> just, just this little thing. And it's becoming this big, wonderful thing. And, and uh, you know, I just, I just absolutely love it. So... Um, thank you all. It's been a year already. Yeah, it's been a year. It was a year May 15th. Wow. I know, it's crazy. So, um, anyways, off to bed, guys. Off to, off bed. to bed. Yep, these kids have been up way too long. It's time. You guys have a wonderful weekend. We will see you when you see you. When we see you, we'll when see you we when see we see you. you. <laughs> when we see you through the screen. Ooh. We're tired. Virginia.
Happy hooking, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> hey, we're going to make this a short video because I'm hungry. He's always hungry, guys. <laughs> We'll be back shortly. This will be back on the. This will be on the end of the video. We'll, we'll meet you at Sonic or. Do we're going out to. We're going out to eat, and then we'll be back to podcast. <laughs> Bye.